After a long wait, we are thrilled to announce Light Tracer 2.9, packed with powerful animation features. Today we'll talk about the main innovations in this release and show you how easy it is to animate your products and create stunning videos. For this video we used a great moon watch design by Francisco Correa. To learn how to set up materials and lighting in Light Tracer, we invite you to watch our previous videos. Today, let's bring this model to life. For this product visualization, we'll need to animate the environment, camera, and lenses, as well as the individual parts of the model. Let's start with something familiar and make a keyframe-based camera animation. Products are usually shown from multiple angles, so let's start with a side view and show the design of the pushers and crown. Now let's add a second angle and show the full view of the watch, including its beautiful dial. To create an abrupt transition from one shot to the next, we need to set the initial keyframe of the second view to the time of the last keyframe of the first view. This way, the change between camera views is instant, without a smooth transition between them. Now let's add the final shot and show a close-up of the watch to demonstrate all the details of this design. Since we are shooting small objects, we need to use a shallow depth of field to resemble a real camera. Note that the lens parameters are also keyframed, so we can animate the focus area, so the transition looks even more atmospheric. Here we want the camera to move along a straight line in each transition, so we switch the trajectory type to linear. We have a nice camera animation, but all the objects are static. Let's fix that. First of all, to make the lighting dynamic and to emphasize the shape of our product, it is worth adding an environment animation. And here, Everything is done the same way as with the camera. We need to add keyframes that represent key states of the environment. These keyframes store the orientation of the environment, its brightness, the position of the sun, atmospheric parameters, etc. Let's add a few environment animations for each viewing angle. Our goal is to add dynamism to the scene by moving the edge of the shadow. Note the convenient preview of the scene environment. This is a chrome ball that sits directly in front of the camera and shows a reflection of the environment map. You can drag the rotation and inclination sliders to rotate the environment to the desired position. At any time you can see what kind of video is being produced by clicking the play button. Finally, let's bring the clock seconds hand to life. To do this, select the desired seconds hand and set the pivot position. It is the point around which an object rotates. Now we can add keyframes one for each tick on the dial. New keys can be added either using the plus button or the K key. You can set the position for inserting keyframes on the timeline explicitly, but by default they will be added in two second increments. To change the interval to one second, we need to select the keys and set the desired interval between them. Our animation still doesn't look realistic, 
This is because Light Tracer applies a time easing when the object starts moving smoothly, then speeds up and slows down at the end. For a second's hand, such a movement is not suitable. We want to achieve a sharp movement of the mechanism from tick to tick. To do this, select all keyframes and set a custom easing function. Now it's more like moving the second's hand. When all the necessary animations are set, you can render the video using the Render Video or Render Frames button. We're excited to bring you these new animation features, designed to help you showcase your work in the best possible way. As we continue to refine Light Tracer, your feedback is crucial. Please share your thoughts in the comments below and help us improve.